So right now we're on the, uh, we have not flattened the curve. So essentially we're right in the midst of the crisis itself. So the CFO's role is really as a facilitator, get, taking out the roadblocks, making sure that there is the funds available to do the things that you need to do. That's the role. Once the curve flattens and we start to see this, then does the role change or, I mean, will there be different phases in the role over the next six months, I guess? Well, well I think so. And, and I don't, I mean, this is probably going to have a rather long uh, period. So even though the curve gets flattened, if anything, that just is hopefully right. We're wanting to extend this so that it isn't a spike, but it's a much longer time frame. So this facilitation role, I think, will go on for six months, nine months until the crisis truly passes. The other thing, there are other impacts. We haven't talked about the investment portfolios, Bill. Many of the large nonprofits have multi-billion dollar investment portfolios. Some of them use them to support and fund operations. So with where the equity markets, that's, that's going to be years before they recover. So I think what you're going to see is financial impact. And again, these are paper losses to many of the health systems, but others do use these funds to support operations. For these large uh, organizations, you're going to see investment losses in the hundreds of millions of dollars, close to a billion dollars on some of these systems. And you'll see those as soon as the first quarter, but certainly for the full year. So that's going to impact ratios, uh, potentially lending arrangements. So that, that can't be discounted uh, either in terms of the impact. And then also philanthropy, donors who had significant equity portfolios, their, their, fund, their charitable decision-making will change, it will likely become more conservative. And again, we have many systems that do quite well uh, on philanthropy. So that's going to be impacted as well. So I think the CFO role is going to be this way probably for the next six to 12 months. And then uh, really it's, it's going to be about actually some retrospective work and thinking about what could have gone better, what, how could we have reacted, how could we have prepared better as an executive team for, for the next crisis. And there will be a next crisis, whether it's in several years or 10 years or 20 years, but I guess the way viruses work, these things, they continue to recur. 